I like her. She does a wine and bubble eye. Oh, 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 you are good. Right, what's up, you guys? I'm here today to do my first YouTube tag video, and it's for that shit I don't like. Like, the things where it was piss you off. Like, people do some something sometimes. I have to really wonder if you say, so, yo, that's the first in your absence. Like, them stupid. Alright, so the first one. You go in a store. You see a whole heap of stuff where you like all of the something them look good and you say, yeah, make us spend some money in another place here today. And everything in another store don't have on a price tag. And you have like two idiot attendant with like scrub face where act like them don't want you to ask them no question. Every single thing where you like, you have to be like, excuse me, how much for this? How much for that? I don't like that. If you have a store, if you can't even afford it, like the gun, you know the gun where you put the, the price tag on, buy a piece of paper, buy some sticker, something, cardboard, marker, crayon, pencil. I'm not supposed to have a walk around and every item I'm like, how much for this? I'm not like that. Alright, number two. You go in a taxi, you go on one coaster bus. You know, nowadays the fear I like eighty dollar, ninety dollar, whatever. Some ad number where you know you're supposed to get back your change. No, no matter how time rough, I want back my ten dollar, I want back my twenty dollar, thirty, whatever. My silver, I want it back. I don't like it when I go up on a bus. And you yeah, go say to me say, man, I change. Or you say nothing to me at all, and you take my hundred dollar, and you take my one fifty. I go pretend say a one fifty or a hundred dollar for the fear. No, don't do it. You don't have any manners. That me not like it. Piss me off. Me want Back to money. the store thing. You go in a store, right? This happened to me all the time when I go on the King Street store. I don't want to load up no store or nothing. But I mean, no, I'm gonna load it up because a whole pastor in a Jamaica. I can't speak for overseas, but a whole pastor in a Jamaica stay so. You go in the store. Fire your go through the door. I want a lady that attack you. Need any help? Can I help you? I don't want to know. No. Just look in, just look in. You walk, go down one aisle. This is the girl that's a walk with you. See anything you like? No, just look in. You go down at the shoes part. That would have looked nice for you. Try it on now. All you have to tell the people, let me say, my good like me. I don't, I don't like attendance around me. When I'm ready for buy, I'm going to like, find me a size or whatever, them time they'll come. I don't need somebody to walk around with me and tell me, oh, that look good for you and if I buy that. If I didn't want that, I would not care, I'm a friend. <laughs> so, when you go walk with me, every single place I go, you stop like we're best friends and we're shopping together. No, don't do that. It don't nice. And if you're a store attendant out there who do that, stop now. Because I don't like it. And I know other persons don't like it. It makes me feel very uncomfortable. Alright. That one you grieve my spirit. Yeah, they are quiet. Yeah, they are privilege. Fiction, whatever, whichever club. Your tuna come on, you know. I mean, you know the part of the song. When you're ready for broke out, you might have the guy behind and you say, Yeah, ready now for broke it out. And all of a sudden, you just hear, Pull up. No, no. It's like uh, you just kill my spirits. I'm ready for give me all. Probably, you know, sometimes you'd like practice the little dance in the, in the mirror before you got a party and ready now for say, Yeah, I'm gonna show my skills. And you pull up the song, my youth. You pull up the song? Mm mm. And you know, me always realize say, them do it more than once. You already know your thing, say, yeah, you're the party, I come now. You're the party, I come. Ready. And you know that's something we do, you like your whole land to your waist and you're ready to get well and like, yeah. Pull up the song. Okay, so the next one. This affect me daily. People who take forever in the ATM machine. Like, why? I don't understand. You go in there, you push in your card, you enter the phone number then where you're supposed to have in your head from a long time, you're supposed to know how much money you're gonna draw or how much you're gonna lodge or whatever from your end of the line. Why, why spending 15 minutes in an ATM machine? You don't have any consideration? If you don't know how to use it, make somebody go with you. 
ask the person behind you. Go into the bank and ask the assistant. Make them teach you how to use it, please. Because you don't fear to the other person them who want to do a quick movement. For stand up and wait for you to squint your eye or take up back your care and the transaction and start over. No. Be considerate. Alright, so this one. People who love to borrow and don't return or don't pay back if it's money. Now this one, it is very serious to me. I think this one really should be like the 11th commandment. Thou shalt not borrow and not return. You know how hard I have work for my things? Seriously. You know how hard people and a whole of work for them things not don't come easy to anybody, especially in Jamaica. When you go borrow my money, you go borrow my flat iron, you go borrow my jewelry, you want borrow my clothes, you come Alright, we're friends, we're family. I'll end you. One week pass. Two weeks pass. Three. Should I even continue? And you don't even say anything to me. You borrow my money and you don't even say to me, say, boy, Annie, no brother thinks I forget you, know, but you know, I kind of meet into some difficulty or you know, I'm soon sort you out. Something like that. I mean, it's certain things are just common courtesy. You see me every day and you walk past my bare face, you talk to me as normal. And you not mention the money where you buy from me. You not mention my jewelry, my clothes, all them something that we probably have at your yard still. You not mention it. You think me just miss it? You think me just running a free for all at my house? Mm -mm. It don't work like that. Okay. So out of everything I mentioned so far, this one grieved me the most. You go into a bathroom to use the toilet and you lift up the toilet and somebody else's business would it go in at the toilet before you greeting you. This now happen with babies. No picnic. No senile person. These are adults who are supposed to have sense. Everybody don't know how to flush a toilet like serious. You just like press down on a button or move your hand over some sensor, whatever kind of toilet it be. You don't know how to flush a toilet. You know how it feel. Those of you experienced you know. It's like you know but I want PP or do whatever you're going there for do. You lift it up and I'm greeted by No Yo I think about it. Okay. Now this one. JPS. If you're in Jamaica and you hear me say this, when you hear JPS, you know, you know, you can't say, oh yes, already without me even saying anything more. I may alone feel that JPS just miraculously, or some strange way, just know when your phone battery, the pan low. Are your laptop the pan low and them just have somebody who say, Yeah man my boss, five percent upon our BB. Lock off a light. If you if you're not living in Jamaica, let me let me tell you this. Light goes away here, that's the electricity, it goes away just randomly. And when it go away, it's not five minutes or ten minutes. That's if you're lucky. Rare occasions. But about hours in the dark. Mosquito infested country this you know. No joke thing. When I play, when we tell you this, when them take off the light, I was. Why JPS? Why? Me not understand that. And when my battery the pan low, me not have no BB. Me can't take two pictures for entertain myself. Me can't listen to me music. music. You about to watch a show? Boom. Light gone. Now come back till like midnight or sometime the next day. I don't understand. Even though we're a third world country, this this affair go on? Why? Why? The, the machine is overwork and you need to shut them off sometimes so that they can cool down. What? I never hear a good good explanation from JPS as to why they always have a cut off the light. Give me a break now. I know everybody can't afford generator you now. I can't afford it. So when light go away, I die. Like I die on the inside of boredom and heat and mosquito infestation. Alright, so next one. You're walking on the road, you're looking all good, yeah, having a good day. And all of a sudden, this pop down, unemployed, uneducated, don't beard from last year, don't have no teeth, smell bad, nah, no ear, just 
just all right you guy I will call to you Psst, baby my girl come here now come here number now you look nice see eh? but my wife no seriously what me look like me look desperate right here so desperate there so don't have a sense there so idiot no that's not all you call to a woman that way. no if one if you have guys out there who watching this who actually use those lines and successfully get a girl let me know and tell me how that did work out for you like seriously how she she did all right in her mental opeso emotionally damaged war i mean i like that I mean, why are you calling to me like i'm an animal no. and if you make it worse when we walk straight past you don't look at you because clearly i won't all of a sudden i went from being totally um totally attractive to mm, from here so you think my begging on your ugly leg your foot back tough leg all of that all of a sudden you look desperate you want me one second and because I don't want you all of a sudden me look like a devil, some ugly monster. You know, stop it. That's that shit I don't so, like. Last one. Every single person who is residing in Jamaica and possibly even the other Caribbean countries like Trinidad and Barbados where they have Digicel can really feel my pain in the middle of the night or early morning when they sleep just i read you your phone ring you shot across the room forget the phone i think say yeah man and finally i text my back or somebody i send me some credit when you look by your phone 400 and this is something more digital do every day digital really and truly but now i said i for promoting or something them but every day sometime all two times for the day when i send my message but send family members credit of one thousand something or more and get that i mean no send three text messages get this amount free whatever no every day yeah text my phone sometimes when i'll call from some weird number too and when me answer the phone things say somebody finally remember me and make have a nice long conversation with somebody my ear this day upon the fall. Did you sell? And she start telling me about some promotion. And it's not like it's a real lady. It's a machine. No, did you sell? Please, if if by some miracle and I end up see this, me a beg on behalf of Jamaican people, stop it. It a nine every day, once a week. Make a make just say all right. Make a just kind of negotiate once a week. Pan a weekend. When people wake up, like one o'clock, two o'clock, because I know everybody get up. Sorry, right, sure guys. What I want you to do in the comments below, tell me all of the things that freaking piss you off. That people do sometimes, you just want to box them, you just want to cool them and shake them. Anything at all like that. You can even do a video response if you want. Remember, like the video, share the video, and subscribe for more videos like this.